Do you want me to do it? Yeah, let's do it. Are you serious? Oh my god, it doesn't work. <laughs> oh my god, is mine broken? This whole time I thought I was safe. Hey Vogue, it's Emma. Today I'm gonna show you what is in my bag. I probably have 60 totes. There are way more totes, but then I did like a, a purging of the totes, which I really regret, and I shouldn't have gotten rid of any of them, but I did. So now, um, yeah, we're, we're talking like 60. I thought this one was pretty spectacular though. I'm gonna try to go again because I didn't get a sweatshirt at the concert. See you soon, Zach Bryan. What is in the tote, you ask? Well, I always have a book with me because I'm usually traveling and I'm also compulsively early to wherever I'm going. And my book club, Bellatrist, our um, last pick was Weird Black Girls. It's short stories and it is absolutely amazing. So I highly recommend that. My book club, Bellatrist, I started with my best friend, Kara, seven years ago. We actually talked about it so long ago that it was before Instagram existed, if you can imagine. So we were like, should we start a blog or a Tumblr? Of course, now I feel like everybody has a book club, which I love because the more people are reading, the better. But this is something that I've just been passionate about forever and we've turned it into a production company. Let's see, what would you guys like to see next? Hmm, my keys. I always have my keys on me and this is my son's first school photo. This photo just absolutely killed me because he never smiles for me and picture day, he, was really into. So he cannot leave the house without Honey Bear. It's uh, this little like slumberkin stuffed animal. I noticed that after having a kid, like you buy them all this like really amazing, like special, unique stuff. And then whatever they get attached to is always so random. But we've had to buy now four Honey Bears because Honey Bear um, did get thrown into a river once. We were like throwing rocks into the river and he threw Honey Bear into the river. Um, so I panicked and was then very grateful that I could order Honey Bear for overnight shipping. This brightens my day every time I see it. My son has Honey Bear and then I have my blankie that I carry around with me, but I'm an adult so I call it an anxiety rag because that seems to be like a little more acceptable, but this is just something that I just go like this when I have anxiety or when, you know, I'm just feeling anxious, I guess. Where's the part? This is the twirling part. It's like this all the time. It's a little weird, but I like it. Kiko, this is my absolute favorite unlimited double touch lip gloss. I have really gotten into like a darker lip lately and especially for summer, I don't wanna have to wear any makeup, but I like to throw on a red lip to like, you know, spice up an outfit. This is my favorite. You got gloss on one side, color on one side, throw it in your bag, absolutely love. Evian spray. I'm obsessed with any kind of face mist, especially when I'm at work and I have to wear makeup for 12 hours. I, I have to do misting in the day and everybody always wants a spritz. Whenever I pull this out, like everyone in this room, when we're done with this, I will totally Evian mist you. Oh, I'm very into flower essences lately. Alexis Smart, this one's Ganesh and it's for confidence. Four drops under your tongue four times a day. I feel like if it does something, great and if it doesn't, it's doing something in my mind, so I love that too. Definitely gonna get more from her. M&Ms, duh, have to have M&Ms. Peanut M&Ms, the best, love it. Great source of protein. <laughs> I always need M&Ms, especially when I'm traveling on the plane or in a hotel. It's a must. Birdie, I'm new to this. My mom got it for me and my sister. Basically, if you're in a bad situation, you pull it and an alarm goes off very loud because yeah, sometimes I'm walking alone at night and I'm a little scared, so. Birdie. I could pull it right now, but you guys would freak it so loud. Me and my sister carry these because of my mom. Thanks, mom. All right, what else we have? We have a phone, but who cares about a phone? I'm so bored of my phone, but there it is. Cards, always. I'm in an ongoing gin competition with my boyfriend, and so far I'm losing, which I'm not happy about. So I always have a deck of cards on me because I'm always trying to win at gin. Oh, well, this is stuck together. We, <laughs> we have AirPods, obviously. This is my ninth pair of AirPods because they don't want to stay with me. I'm so into country. I love country. Um, I love Zach Bryan. I'm into Lana Del Rey. That's not country, but I love Lana Del Rey. And also when I'm driving, I only listen to uh, Seriously Sinatra is the um, station because I feel like it's the only thing that uh, keeps me like calm and cool in traffic. It's just a little little Sinatra, you know? And then this is because uh, my bangs will not grow out, so I have to clip them down sometimes when they're when they're not behaving. So I should have two of those, but 
guess we lost the other one. Okay, so we're done with the tote, and now we are moving on to the purse. I'm a Ray-Ban girl, always have been, always will be, love my Gucci wallet. I love yellow, and I got this duty-free at the airport in Italy, so I don't know why that makes me love it more, but it does. <laughs> okay, this I'm obsessed with. My sister introduced me to this because she's 23 and cool and like knows everything about social media and phones, and so this goes on, I mean, of course, because I have all this stuff on the back of my phone, but if I take my case off and do this, I can literally stick this anywhere and like FaceTime or take pictures or do videos. So it's very handy, the Octo Buddy. I've gotten this for like everyone I know and it's changed their life. There's that. Mostly what I wanna keep from stuff I've worked on is clothing. I'm still kicking myself that I didn't take more from American Horror Story Coven, but I did keep a pair of black Prada ankle boots that I still to this day love. I don't think I can walk in them anymore, but I love them. Band-Aid, Toblerone, more candy that I sneak into the movie theater. I love Toblerone. I miss the Arclight because they used to sell Toblerone at the Arclight. I mean, can't like one of the streamers buy it and then like they can like charge you more per month and you can go see movies for free in theaters? That would be fun. Thank you. Everyone behind us is going like this. Let's. Let's talk to somebody about that. And then I have stamps. I always need stamps. I'm old school. I like sending postcards everywhere I go um, to my family. But like, even if I'm staying in a hotel, like if I'm away from my son, like I'll send a little postcard from the hotel. Like nothing gives me more joy than getting mail. So I like to give that joy to other people because I feel like we don't get mail anymore unless it's like something we ordered. I'm a big scrapbooker. So I love like tangible stuff and souvenirs and like concert tickets, movie tickets, postcards. I like anything analog because I just feel like everything disappears into the abyss of our phones and computers now. I try to keep that a little bit alive within my family and friend group. I have a couple more things at mascara. I feel like I always need mascara, so that's in here. From Kiko, eye drops. I have dry eye. It's horrible. And now I'm addicted to eye drops. It's like a vicious cycle, I've heard. I don't know. We don't need to get into it, but yes, eye drops. Altoids, duh. And then this. <laughs> my friend, my little doll. I'm a doll collector, um, if you haven't been following that recently on my social media. My friend's daughter, who's eight months old, Stevie. Hi, Stevie. She gave me this the other day, and I actually forgot that I had put it in here, so she accidentally came with me to New York. She's missing her arm, but I feel like that's part of her charm, you know? She might accidentally now be my traveling doll, because she's made it to New York, so she may as well just continue on with me to wherever I go next. She doesn't have a name yet, though. We should name her. Doll names, anyone? Little Stevie. Okay, Little Stevie. Little Stevie. There she is. I have a pen. I love this pen. This pen's actually caused an argument between my mom and I because she said it was hers and I knew it was mine. And it's not a pen you like mistake. Like it's a weird looking pen. She was convinced it was hers. I was convinced it was mine. And I love this pen. And so I took it back. There's no way we act we bought the same pen that looks like this, is there? So I only have one thing left in here. Like that's embarrassing. And it's only cause I just got off a plane. I have recently started sleeping with mouth tape. And if you guys aren't doing it, you should be, because it's life-changing. I feel more refreshed when I wake up sleeping with mouth tape. I'm the girl on the plane with the mouth tape, with my blankie, with like under eye patches, with like an eye mask. Like, you don't want to see me on a plane. It's, it, and, and I'm not embarrassed, no, at all. Be who you want to be on the plane. Like, as long as you're not bothering anybody, you know? July 4th, I have a movie coming out called Space Cadet on Amazon. And it was one of those scripts that I read and just fell madly in love with and wanted it so badly. Like a year later, I got a call that I got the part and I was like, oh my God. And it's uh, written and directed by Liz Garcia, who is amazing. And I've wanted to work with her for like 10 years. It's very like legally blonde meets Private Benjamin kind of vibes about a party girl who accidentally fibs her way into NASA. So I'm very, very excited for everybody to see that. If I could take one person and fit them in my bag and bring them with me everywhere, definitely my son. But unfortunately my son will not sit still because he's a three-year-old boy and is faster than me and I cannot keep up with him. But I would bring him everywhere if I could and if he would stop running away from me. And then, I mean, I would bring my sister with me everywhere, which I do, she's actually here, she's over there. My sister is also my BFF, Grace. And I always say to her, I wish I could just put you in my suitcase and bring you everywhere with me. All right, well that was everything that was in my bag slash tote. Thank you so much, Vogue, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.